So we had 4% inflation uh, on CPI inflation overall. Uh, that's on top of the other inflation increases that we've seen for the past 26 months or so. There's been no overall price reductions. What's the president's plan to reduce prices for all Americans, not just a certain category of, uh, of people that fit certain criteria? I think everything that the president has done, all of his economic policies, and you think about these historic legislation, that's for all Americans. That's to make sure that uh, we, uh, we continue to lower costs, whether it's health care, whether it's energy. That was Fox Business's Edward Lawrence grilling White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre on inflation yesterday. The White House attempting to take a victory lap after yesterday's CPI number, tweeting that it's proof Joe Biden's economic plan is working. However, a new poll from the Job Creators Network Foundation finds nearly seven of 10 small business owners are concerned economic conditions could force them to close. The two top issues facing these owners, rate of inflation, upheaval in the banking sector, Adam. That's, I think, the interesting piece here is the, the loan situation. A couple of comments. First of all, it really bugs me when a president tries to take credit for the economy as a whole. Oh, Joe Biden has fixed inflation? Really? No, I think it's the resilience of the American economy due to the hard work of millions of people around this country and the normalization of supply chains around the world. So for Joe Biden to get up there or KJP to get up there and say, Joe Biden accomplished this, no, no, he didn't. He happened to be sitting in a chair. This economy is resilient. Um, to the point of two thirds of business owners actually expressing concern, that upsets me. Um, I don't know where that negativity comes from because as someone who, um, uh, is trying to look forward and pick stocks and help people build wealth, I see a lot more reasons to be positive than negative. And the fact that the market actually has turned and now there does seem to be momentum doesn't jive with why two-thirds of Americans uh, or business owners would, 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 would be so concerned. I want to pick up on something you're saying, Tiana, because, you know, I've, I've heard President Biden over and over take credit for deficit reduction. But that is untrue. Uh, that is because all of that COVID stimulus, that right. spending that was implemented during the pandemic, receded. Correct. That had nothing to do with President Biden. It, it bothers me when they take yeah. credit for that over and over. And it's still way too high. Think about the fight that McCarthy just had to wager just to try and get spending levels back to 2022, right? Um, because they this is everything is by design. The White House has an, ex has an explicitly inflationary policy, not just with spending, but also they have made clear that they are pursuing I think what at this point is sort of the canard of full employment because we've seen the consequences. We have seen going forward, the problem will not be unemployment. It will be we do not have enough workers. That made sense from a generational perspective that we were heading into this into that sort of economy 10 years ago. We all saw how that birth rate was going to affect the American labor force. And as a result, what have been the consequences? Higher inflation, higher child labor violations as, as we're and and worse migrant labor exploitation. These are all things that liberals used to ostensibly care about. Right. And how does that translate into business owners confidence? I think it's the idea that Americans have racked up a trillion dollars in credit card debt. And will they stop spending? Because that's really the only thing keeping it afloat. And it's not as though the federal government or the Federal Reserve have much root room to help in case of an actual recession because we've been spending like drunken sailors in time True. of positive growth in times True. of you know this this post covid boom we were spending when we should have been saving we kept rates way too low way too long and now we have the sort of inflation where if that recession does hit we can't just slash you know it back what, down Lee? to zero you know what Lee this is why any republican right now that's going to be running for office next year should focus on the economy there's no doubt about it and and look the, the reason small business owners feel this way, right, is their dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. The cost of labor is up. It's harder to find employees. There, there's, there's a real labor shortage. There's all kinds of issues that are facing them that people aren't addressing. And you know what? Joe Biden's sitting there saying, you know what? The economy's never been stronger. And they're saying, well, wait a minute. Why is it harder than for me ever to make uh, ends meet? And so if whoever comes out there and gives a plan and tells them that the economy is going to be okay, shows how they're going to lower taxes, make life better for them on a day-to-day -day basis, that's who's going to win. Ultimately, everybody, every other issue that's out there is going to be a distraction. It is the economy, stupid, which was a Democrat that said it, uh, yes. if you go back in history, James Adam. Carville, yeah, yeah. yeah but... But it is still true today, especially now looking at the inflation rates we just put on our well, screen. And we're getting PPI in an hour. Which compound. It's the yeah. fact that it's not that, oh, inflation reduced 
it's that prices are still up 15% yeah. from where they were when this president took office. Yeah, they and Americans still feel that. The, and if you want to see if you want to see this in action, look at Ron DeSantis's poll numbers because when he focused on the economy, he was winning. He was gaining traction Good when point. he started focusing on issues outside the economy and started talking about the woke wars, the culture wars and everything else. He lost 20 points. The American people want money in their pocketbooks. They want optimism, they want hope, they want to feel better about things again. That's it. Yeah, and by the way, earlier we had the congressman, um, uh, Ogil, I believe is his name, who is bringing uh, forth uh, articles of impeachment against uh, both um, uh, Trump, or, 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 President uh, Biden, Biden and, and Harris. Harris. Yeah. Really, honestly, I mean, come on. You know, let's, do, do we need to add another legal challenge to our leaders? Um, you know, we've already got, what, tax fraud against Trump in New York. We've got um, uh, keeping documents in Florida. Uh, George, on Georgia's and on. Georgia's coming. There's a lot more. Georgia's coming, et cetera. I mean, can we please just put all the uh, the bickering behind us, focus on the economy and people who can actually yeah. take action and move us forward, and not, which I think is your point, Lee. Exactly. And right. not by the people for the people. What's happening for the people right now? We're all fighting against each other, and everybody's feeling left behind. It's a terrible situation. Well, not to mention, I don't think anyone's going to beat Trump by focusing on the corruption or the cases, because that's not what the base wants to hear. Right. They want to hear how Trump won in 2016, which was bread and butter issues. Then the issue was jobs and the recovery from the Great Recession. Now it's inflation and not having enough labor in the labor. A lot of them still yeah. love his policies as well.